if you're a parent of a child of color, I'm gonna need you to watch this. What all do you know when it comes to the systemic barriers as it relates to the education system? As a new parent, enrolling your child into school can be one of the most exhilarating experiences. I mean, it's a milestone. It's something to be proud of and excited about. But when you have a child of color, there's another element that comes into play. There's something more, there's something extra that we have to think about as a parent, I have to teach my children how to maneuver through the school system as a black child because their blackness is seen first and their childlike innocence sometimes is stripped away. I wanna to touch on a term that was actually coined by W.E.B. Du Bois, which is double consciousness. This term is specific to the black experience because we typically have to look at ourselves through a white lens. Their perception of us can sometimes mean life or death. This is no exception when it comes to school. Being black in white spaces is constant psychological warfare. We're battling internalized anti-blackness. We're watching as we're being critiqued and perceived in any kind of way. And on top of that, having to display perfect behavior, otherwise we're chastised for it, harsher than our white counterparts. Black and brown kids have to deal with the school to prison pipeline. And as a parent, that is one of the scariest things that I have to think about. Our black and brown kids are adultified to ages that cannot be comprehended. Like I spoke about in a previous video, there are expulsion rates as high as 30% in elementary schools, and the majority of those expulsions are black and brown kids. The way in which a lot of these schools discipline children really reflects the way in which our society disciplines adults. Again, it's a pipeline to prison. Once someone is in the system, institutionalized specifically for a crime, the chance of them getting out and doing something to land them in that position again gets higher and higher. Sending kids to in-school suspension for minor offenses or sending them to alternative schools or even juvenile detention centers, this is a sure way to make sure that they end up in prison. Black people serve more time in prison for the same crimes as their white counterparts. That exact same statistic is true when it comes to disciplinary actions in school. This is why I spoke on the importance of the school board diversity, but also as a parent with a child of color, it's important that we talk to our children about what to expect and we as parents have to advocate for our children. For more information on the school to prison pipeline and how you as a parent can defend your child against that system, please read the description for more information and be sure to follow Good Beat Parents.